Hi all, it's PJ and welcome to the video tutorial for the three layer pleated mask with filter pocket and nose wire. So this is the picture, the front and the back. So it's got three pleats in the front. There's a little um, area for the nose wire and then when you turn it over on the back, um, that little top flap opens up and you can slide an additional filter in there. So, here are the supplies you're going to need. Quilt weight cotton, preferably 100% um, cotton and tightly woven. You'll need a sewing machine, the template, Sharpie marker, a fabric marker, an iron, and then wire if you want the um, nose wire. Here are the measurements. The front fabric is going to be 8 inches by 11. The lining fabric is going to be 8 by 13 and you'll need two ties and that's two pieces of inch and a half wide by the width of the fabric. So um, this is going to be cut cross grain, so salvage to salvage. Usually it's going to end up being about 43 inches. Okay, so here are your fabric pieces. Your front piece is 8 by 11. Your lining piece is 8 by 13 and then your two ties that are an inch and a half wide. So here's the template and I'll give you um, a link to that for um, on the Facebook page or it will be in the description section if this if you're seeing this on YouTube. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your lining and you're going to fold it in half and if you have um, fabric that has a right and a wrong side that will be wrong sides together. And then you're going to lay that piece on top of your front with right sides together and you're going to sew a seam down the edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. So you've got your seam sewn. You're going to now press this seam open first. give it a shot of steam and then you're going to fold this pressing it open first will help it fold right on that seam and you can give that a good press the top section you're going to fold over and you're going to lap the lining piece by a quarter of an inch right here and then just press that into place. So now it's time for your template. You can move this flap out of the way. And with the template, I've just cut the little notches here. And this is your top. So you're gonna line your template up. And I just use a Sharpie marker for this. and just make a little dot at each of the little notches. I'm gonna flap this back over. You can tuck that under. So now we're gonna fold in the pleats. You're gonna take this, the bottom and just fold it where those dots are and then give it a press. And then go to the next set and give that a press. and then go to the third set. So you're gonna do three pressed folds. So it should look like this. So now turn it so that the front is toward you and you're gonna meet that first pleat to these top marks. 
and just kind of hold it in place and then bring the second pleat down and you can kind of feel through where the last pleat stopped and you're just going to do that for all three pleats and then give that a good press This top section is going to fold down to where the first pleat starts. So right here. And give that a good press. You can press it from the other side too if you'd like. So. Now that all your pleats are pressed in, this is an optional step. You can flip this back and then you can just run a stitch straight down here to help hold that in place. It'll pretty much get held into place anyway. Then turn this so that it's right side face out. And for this, I just use a friction marker and line this up and I'm gonna make two little marks right here. And we're gonna stitch across to there at 3 eighths of an inch, just from the mark to the mark. And that's gonna be for your nose wire. So I've stitched this flap down here and I did it from the wrong side. And I have purple thread in my top and white thread in my bobbin. So you can see this is the bobbin thread. And then in addition to that, I sewed across here from the mark to the mark. So that's where your nose wire will fit in. Okay, so we're ready to do the straps and we're going to switch cameras. Okay, so we're at the sewing machine and you're going to take your two strips. Let me start with one strip. Um, I've just pressed it in half so that I know where the halfway mark is. And where this top pleat is, is pretty close to half. So I'm just going to position this on the top. You want to make sure that this flap is over the top of your lining piece. And you're just going to stitch this down at three-eighths of an inch and just shy of three-eighths. And I have my machine set to tack at the front and at the end. And you'll repeat that for the other side. So this will help to tack your pleats down and position your strap. And then just give this a finger press out. So this next step is how you can do your straps without having to pre-press. You're actually going to use your hands as your binder tool, if you will. So we've got this with the right side face down and the start of your tie is going to be at the top. I am going to just fold this first little bit in, maybe an inch or so to the center and then fold my sides into the center and then fold that over. So basically there's your strap that's roughly three-eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to put this under my foot and I've got it underneath the um, center feed dog so that it will feed. And I've got this set to just back tack at the start. So you're going to anchor that part. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to fold your sides into the center and then turn them back on themselves. And I'm putting a little bit of tension on this so that little bit of tension will help the edges to fold in. 
and then I'm just going to stick it down. And then just reposition. And stitch. You're basically doing about six or eight inches at a time. When you get down to where your um, mask is attached, just fold this into the edge and then fold that over. Tucking my thread tip ends in there. And you're basically just going to keep folding and stitching and folding and stitching. So you're just going to keep doing this all the way down to the end. When you get down to the end, I find it's easiest to actually not go to the very, very end. That end will kind of fold in all by itself. Just stitch down to your end and then back tack. And there you have your tie. So after you get both of your um, straps on, it should end up looking like this. So to put the nose wire in, so this is just a four inch long piece of wire and this is just something that I had laying around. It's just florist wire and it wasn't a very thick gauge. So I just, um, I think I did like three folds and then I just twisted it together to hold it. So on the back side, you're just gonna feed this up through here and just slide it into that little pocket. What's nice about this is that you can remove that if you need to um, for when you do your laundry. And then if you flip this up, there's your little pocket to put in an additional filter. This is already three layers, so, but there you go. This is just a little bonus tip that will help you start and stop at the very end of your straps. So if you use just a scrap of fabric, and this is just four layers thick, which is the same thickness as my strap. So I'm just going to start sewing on this, and when I get to the end of this, I'm going to stop. And if you start your strap right at the end of that fabric, you can start at the very end and you can back tack and you won't have to worry about your um, fabric bedding getting sucked in and then when you get to the end you basically do the same thing you can either use the same piece or I have two sets here one at the start and one at the end so you can just come down here to your end. And then when you get to the end, just put this in place. You can back tap and then just sew off the other piece. And then you can trim this. And then you done your tacks at the very end on each side.